Soil Machine Dynamics operates in five different business streams now, remotely operated vehicles for offshore oil and gas. We've got a division that's focused into mining machines, renewables, wave energy and nuclear decommissioning. The new project we're working on is the SND Atom, which is going to be designed to be the smallest working class ROV in our fleet. The Atom is compact so you can get into the spaces that the electrical observation machines can but it's got more power. The difficulties of working uh, with vehicles that have to go under, under water, they're quite challenging. The moment you introduce salinity uh, with an electrical environment, you have problems with uh, corrosion. The pressures are incredibly immense. We operate vehicles at 3,000 and 6,000 metres. We can provide a full turnkey solution to most of our customers. So we can provide every component that they might go into building up a system to put on a vessel. A typical system obviously includes the piece of machinery that's going to go under water to do the job, but then all the equipment associated with getting that machine to its location to do its job, what we call a, a launch system or an A-frame, to allow us to lift the machine out of the water and put it down on the deck of the ship. Apart from building machines, we offer the ability to train customer staff, and part of that training facility includes the simulators. We take our 3D data and feed that into some simulation software, so that the operators, when they're going undergoing training, think they're actually there. Mainly we use Inventor to create the models of the machines. Inventor allows us to basically check dimensions, weight, actual productivity, can we manufacture it. With the vehicles that we, we manufacture, we need to know the centre of gravity of the vehicles and all the components. And Inventor allows you to do that for each component, which then you can calculate how this thing is going to hang or even fly in the water. SND started to use Vault five or six years ago. Vault basically is a safe file store with version control. Once you check out of the Vault, you then own that file. You've got the file ownership. Nobody else can actually modify it until it's checked back in. There's a history there as well. If somebody does make a mistake and changes a part that alters hundreds of assemblies somewhere within the company, it's quite easy to roll it back to the previous version. One of the features of Vault is a very powerful search engine. If you just remember some key words associated with, with what the component was called or what the drawing was called, you very quickly go from 100,000 or more parts down to five or 10 and then quickly home in on what you did before. It's quite difficult to not be able to find what you want, whether it's 10 years gone or whether it's something that's currently being worked on. We don't just use um, Vault to store CAD data, we also store analysis data, design calculation data, which can be in any format, documents, we store spreadsheets, MathCAD and PDFs, all in the Vault associated with the product, so that when we finalise the design and release it for manufacture, that data is then locked with that part, so we've got a full traceability of where it came from. A powerful feature within Vault is the ability to copy an existing design to a new design and then go and edit it. Keeps all the families and associations of all the other parts for sub-assemblies that have been created before. If that wasn't there, you'd have to create every individual part, make sure that they will fit together. With design copy, the links are already there. You'd only have to maybe change out a couple of parts, and then you'd have a new assembly. It's a feature we use quite a lot. It allows us to do very quick engineering changes where we just want to create a new assembly and add in a new part. SMD deployed Vault Professional to allow us to operate engineers across multiple sites in the UK. So we've got local file stores for those engineers on those local sites. Any user on any site can create new files and they put them in their local Vault. If anybody else on any other site wants access to that data, they can see it immediately, but it's not stored locally on their server. They can request that data and it will transfer it immediately. All of our Vaults synchronise on a 15 minute basis. We're quite passionate about using the Vault and uh, moving forward and seeing that as a hub to all the procedures at which we can do within engineering and throughout the rest of the company. I find it amazing that we design things which go into one of the most hostile environments on the planet. I get to work on robots. Working with robots is what little boys dream of, <laughs> basically.